What's up, everybody? This is poetry. I'm poetry. I always say this is poetry. I am poetry, and this is my weight loss update. You know what? I might as well just call it a weight update because I ain't lose a damn thing again. I. Fuck, the only thing I'm losing is encouragement and um, the determination to keep going forward with this shit. Oh my goodness. When I go hard in the paint, y'all old heads know what the fuck that term means. But when I be out here doing it and doing it big, sorry, I don't use shit. I like my shirt. It's my school alma mater. You know I'm be biking. Yeah, we. Be, yeah. Um, I ain't been losing a damn thing. I've been walking, been lifting weights, been doing sit-ups and push-ups. And n nothing. I've been teetering back and forth between 196 and 199 pounds for two damn years. And I know there's a lot more that I can be doing, but at least this past couple weeks, I've been going hard and I didn't lose a damn thing. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm getting pretty. I'm good. Uh, I'm aggravated today, so I'm getting my little rant in right now. That's all I'm doing is ranting because I'm not stopping. I'm just, I can't stop, won't stop, but keep going. But I realize that I ain't kept my damn track on. This mug has been in my purse since last week, I think. I went to go get it massaged last week and I put it in my purse. Have not put it back on my arm since then. Haven't been even logging in my water. Don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Last time I checked, though, I was right at like 92, 94 ounces of water and I want to hit 100. So I think I'm doing awesome, awesome on the water at least that's what I think I'm doing but um yeah man I wanna I wanna I I wanna see some stuff move it's like I'm saying I'm gonna tell you one reason why I'm, another reason why I find it like when I'm living life and I'm just doing a lot of stuff and I'm staying busy weight loss is like the last thing on my mind so I have yet to find balance. And that was the one thing that I've always said that I wanted to get, I wanted to be able to balance um, my everyday life and incorporate my weight loss journey into that. It's not supposed to be something separate and aside from my everyday life because I want to keep it going, you know, from on and on. I'm not, that's why I don't pick up like quick fat diets and shit like that. So I know that's not something I'm gonna continue to do. Um, I've been on a no candy fast again. I did it back in December and that wasn't as hard as it is right now. And people were giving me candy back at Christmas time. I was able to hold it off until I got back from Japan. But now I am craving candy. Crazily craving candy. I will walk in a store and be at the checkout line and I can smell how fresh the candy bars are. I don't even eat candy bars like that. I like paydays. That's probably pretty that's about the gist of my candy bars. But I can smell the Snickers and the Kit Kats and I can smell it all, the scores. I'm not a chocolate fan. Like my, the gist of my chocolate, let me tell you the gist of my chocolate is I would get a peanut butter parfait from Dairy Queen. Got that little chocolate fudge in there. I could do that. Um, I love me some Giardellis, but Giardellis are expensive, and I don't want to uh, eat a whole lot of them. So, go. Oh. The fuck. I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying to cut back on cursing. Um, why I do these videos? Not not in life. Just why I do these videos. So. But I've been craving candy, and I can't even necessarily say I'm craving sugar, because I still can eat cookies, I still can eat ice cream if I want to, I can eat cake if I want to, and um, but I can get a piece of cake, and I still want a fucking candy bar. It's candy. I haven't had my gummy bars. It's candy. I don't know what, it's, it's a mental thing. I know it's a mental thing. But that's just where I'm at. Like, I go to the movies a lot. Y'all know that, right? I usually get the kids packed. The kids pack comes with 
candy. I can't get my candy and I'll be freaking out. I think it's just the fact that I uh, I know I'm depriving myself, but I've done this before. So I don't know what the hell the issue is this time around. I feel like a god doggone crackhead. I heard trying. I got my heart in the palm seat back here. It's not how I wanted this to look, but I wanted to pin it over and I couldn't find my pins and I put it in the ponytail and now it's just stuck like this, so whatever. So, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I know I'm eating later at night. That could be a, a reason why I'm not um, losing either because throughout the day, I'm busy. Like, I have really been busy or I've been focusing on like writing and lately when I've been getting into my writing zone that's it. it you can hang it up for anything else I mean food is like second nature to me I don't even think about it really so I gotta do something though I, I real and I realize what my problem is is um I, I gotta want to lose the weight I don't think up until this point that I've actually wanted to lose the weight. Let me explain. I know that I need to lose the weight. I know that there are a lot of health and factors that are in play here. Health risk factors that are in play. I know um, I can sense the difference of how I feel when I walk a long distance or try to run or jog. Remember that little wheezing sound that I said I'm starting to hear now? I can hear that. I know all the physical attributes of why I want to lose. I don't like my done lap, you know, my belly lapping over. But there's a few things that come into play here. Um, a lot of people tell me, girl, you look good for your weight. You don't even look like you're almost 200 pounds. And I know this, this is true. I, I, when I look at myself and I look at other people that's 200 pounds, I don't see myself looking like them. I look smaller, even though I'm five feet tall. I should not be 200 pounds, five feet tall. And I always round up to 200 because like I said, I've been fluctuating between 196 and 199 for almost two years. So I'm 200 pounds. So, um, but people tell me, yeah. Uh, and then when I put on my clothes, I already think I'm a sexy motherfucker. Let's just be honest. I have not had self-esteem issues in a, in a while. I think since I was a teenager. And then it was because I didn't have the body. You know, now I got the thickness, the thick thighs and the thick behind and all that stuff. And I'm like, bitch, right? So, um, yes, I'm like, hey, girl, hey, when I look in the mirror, hey, girl, hey. I'm all like that when I look in the mirror. And, of course, the men, they always want to compliment you on your physical attributes. Although, right now, only one of the opinion matters to me as far as a man is concerned. But as far as, like, me, like, looking a certain way, I do it for myself. I don't do that specifically for a dude. But I like to have this one person's appreciation. And that's pretty much it. Everybody else is just like, okay, thank you. And then if you say it one too many times, now I'm, like, annoyed, like, trying you're doing too much you're doing too much um so but yeah after a while though these type of compliments in addition to the fact that a lot of the people i know that are i'm considered obese but a lot of people i know that are considered obese it's i don't know it's a different look i would say they're more shaped or more toned I don't know what it is but we have a different physical structure of our bodies that make me say I'm all, I'm good I, it's a vanity thing I guess and it's it's hindering my progress I, I have to I have the one so I just don't it's not like that I had a real want to uh, lose the weight I just knew that I needed to you know um but I think I'm, I'm at, see, I was going to say, I think I'm at the point that I, I, I finally wanted. If I really finally wanted it, I wouldn't have said I think. I would have just said I, I finally I want to do it. But I did look in the mirror the other day, and it was like one of the first times I was like, yeah, you need to lose weight. 
it, uh, just looking at me from a physical standpoint and not just from a health standpoint. It's like you need to lose weight. Um, I'm losing my neck again. I used to have a slender neck. And my neck was coming back for a minute. But as you get older, your body starts to naturally shut, shut sag in places anyway. Maybe a, a gradual sag, maybe a full on sag, but I'm starting to get the little hanging here. And uh, I'm starting to lose my neck. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm always getting shirts that I gotta keep putting my goddamn collar down because I wanna see neck bone and neckline and stuff like that. And yeah. I need, I need to have my neck. I want my neck back. So I, I got to do something that I can stick to. I can't say drastic because I'm not going to stick to something drastic. I already know. Um, I'm going to finish out this candy fast. But I already know that when August 1st comes around, I am going to want some damn gummy bears or some candy cones or something. Of that nature, I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a chewing factor. No, because I, like I, I had cookies, but the cookies don't do it for me. It's a different type of sweetness, I guess, that's in the cookie, or it's because it's doughy. You know, they, the, the cookie itself. I'm not that big of a fan of that. That's why I don't like um, Twix candy bars. I like Twix, but I don't like them that much. Cause I'm not the cookie fan. I can eat them, but I'm not a fan of them. That's why I was like, I knew I could still eat, I could fast from the candy and I'd still be okay because the cookie cakes and pies and shit, I don't eat a lot of them anyway, so I wouldn't go overindulge on them. But I am seeking out, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't even do a pack of, like a piece of gum. <laughs> it's, it's killing me, it's killing me. I don't, I don't think I've ever went through a candy fast. I do a candy fast at least once a year. I don't think I've ever went through a candy fast and struggled this much. This is the 18th, 19th, I don't know what day of the month this is. And I'm still struggling like I'm going through withdrawals from a damn drug. I don't know, I'm gonna get it right, I'm gonna get it together. Um, so I need to do something. I don't know what it is I need to do to get me to want to lose the weight. Um, I think maybe I, what it is, I need to go do a full checkup. Last time I did a full checkup, they told me I was pre-diabetic, and then I like I went on a kick to get myself back under control. But see, that was still on a medical end; it wasn't on a physical aspect. I said I know the need, but I gotta want it too, and I haven't. I don't think I wanted it. I just don't think I had. Um, Cause I do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? If I want to um, take off on the highway and drive to another city to go eat, I'll go do that. Uh, if I don't want to get out of bed, I, I will do that. I won't do it. If I, um, I do what I want to do. So it, it's clear that I have not wanted to lose the weight. I need to find my want. How do you guys find your want? Is it, is, are you just looking at it from um, a physical standpoint? Like, I want to get back into these jeans or something like that. Or I want to look good for my, my friend's upcoming wedding. What is it that you guys are, are wanting that is helping you achieve weight loss success? I haven't found my want. I have it. Um, it's not clothes. When I don't buy a lot of clothes, I buy a clothes out of necessity. So if there's no favorite pair of jeans, I say I want to get back into. I just go buy the big size. I have no problem going buy another size. Um, because I don't have a an issue with shopping. When I don't have a, a issue with people calling me names saying I'm a fat ass or this, that, and the other, or you too, getting too big. That doesn't bother me because I have, in other areas of my life, I've learned how to not trip off of other people's opinions of me. I don't let that affect my self-esteem to a, a, a great extent. I'm, I'm not gonna say 100% it doesn't affect it. Sometimes it does, but not a, 
not in the way that I see a lot of people when they use that as a reason for weight loss. I'm talking about specifically weight loss at this point. Um, help me find my one. I don't know. <laughs> you can't help me find my one. I have to help it myself. But I just want to know what some of your wants are. Like, what things did you want so bad for yourself on a physical level that is keeping you motivated to lose weight? We go through all our ups and downs often. Um, and I have lost before. And when I lost, I think it's when I broke my ankle. Yeah, I broke my ankle the same year that I was losing weight. And when I came back off of my, uh, out of my surgery, I was in my cast, I was still trying to lose, I was still trying to keep in shape. But, um, yeah, there's nothing else that I can think of that was like really motivating me to continue going. Like I said, I got with a guy who didn't give a fuck about what size I was. <laughs> and he's healthy. I mean, he's one of them like to lift weights and shit like that. Matter of fact, every guy done dated after him, they like really into their physical appearance. And for me, they like my thickness. <laughs> they like my thick thighs and I don't know. But I am I am tired of I am tired of rubbing out jeans. The, the middle section, it ain't even just jeans, it's all pants. I'm tired of burning them out when the rest of the clothes look good. I am tired of that. Um I said I am tired of the turkey neck look. I'm on my neck back. And I'm tired of Dunlap being over my uh waistline, but it just hasn't been to the point where it's like bothering me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. This is the weight loss update, weight journey update, weight loss talk. Cause it's not a, it's not a, it's not an update. There's nothing, there's nothing changed. I'm still a big obese girl. Yeah. <laughs> so let me know what y'all think about anything I said in this video. This is uh <sighs> Weight Loss Wednesday. It is my midweek update. I should be back on Sunday. I keep running to I've been having so much shit to do. I've been like fucking up on Sundays. So I should be able to get the video up on this Sunday though. Alright. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Like, comment. Um, subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel. So that, you know, once I start improving, you'll be able to see that journey with me. And when I fall back down, we'll be able to help each other get back up. All right, y'all. I'm at work. Talk to you later. Peace.